Everyone, it's Ross, and today I want to do a fig tasting video on a variety called Petite Albique. It's a variety that I've grown for years. I really like it. Um, we're going to get into the finer details of that, but before I do, I want to talk to you guys about an email that I received pretty recently. And it's, uh, it says, Hi Ross, my name is Miriam, and I'm a journalist based in LA, and my fiance, Anton, uh, is a huge, huge fan of your YouTube channel, and uh, he spends a big chunk of his weekends watching my videos, always pounces on a new upload every time there is one, you know, blah, 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 you're the coolest person ever. Now, um, I know he's learned a lot from you, and he uses that knowledge when growing his own little fig forest on our patio. Really cool that I've been able to inspire Anton here. And then she says, all of which to say, his birthday's coming up on August 30th, and I'm reaching out to some of his favorite YouTube personalities. Um to put together a video for him so that all of his YouTube personalities will put together like a short 20 to 30 second video. She puts them all together and then plays it for him on his birthday and I just thought that was the coolest thing. So Anton, you have a really thoughtful fiance. Congratulations, number one. Uh, number two, I feel, like a, I feel like a rock star. I feel like as if Billy Joel, if like someone was having a wedding or something and you're, you're just like, hey, Billy Joel, you see him on the street or something, I don't know. And then you're like, Billy, it would be really great if you could play at our wedding. And Billy's like, uh, no. But, <laughs> but for me, it's never happened to me. I'm sure Billy Joel gets it all the time. But uh, I was so excited to be a part of this that, I, of course, I said yes. So here in this video, I want to say happy birthday to Anton. And I also want to say um, thank you for watching my videos. And uh, I hope you've learned something. And... Um, yeah, yeah, I just hope there's many, many more. So, happy birthday, Anton. And, uh, yeah, I think I know who you are, but uh, it's only a hunch. So, uh, you know, it would be pretty cool if it is who I think it is. But, anyway, happy birthday, Anton. And let's get on to the, uh, the fig tasting here. So, we have a sea of trees over here, guys. I mean, an absolute sea of trees. A lot of them are ripening now. You know, we have um, the trace of splice. Here that's ripening all of its figs pretty much now really really cool that's pretty good variety guys um, very similar to Ronde de Bordeaux I'm finding in terms of flavor and then you have back in here this little mess of a tree uh, it's growing all over the damn place but you can see that there's figs all over it. and this is Petit Albique this branch I had a couple of figs actually drop off of this branch really sad to see but this one here is ready and I I kind of picked at the skin there was something on the skin and uh, I'm kind of worrying it's gonna it's gonna get some mold perhaps I know this variety is quite prone to mold in the past it's called Petit Albique and you can see all the figs back in here um, if I lift this leaf up with a hand that I don't have <laughs> you guys can see there's another fig there ripening there's a lot of uh, figs on this variety every year it's very very prolific so it grows quite well and uh, this was a tissue cultured fig that I got and it's you know pretty much you know there's almost no FMV present but there are some limbs with it and uh, the tree just does really well here it's it holds up to the rain very well the only gripe about it is that when the fig you know, we'll pick this one here and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, it's pretty difficult to get off. But you can see that this fig will normally uh, get cracking down the sides. Sort of like how a Black Mission type does. This is a Violette de Bordeaux type. Petit Albique. They're pretty similar looking figs, but the interior is way different. But, uh, you know, they'll get vertical cracking here on the sides. And in those vertical cracks... If there's any moisture that sits there for too long, it can mold. So that's the only gripe I have about its rain resistance, but produces a really nice Braba. It's about a mid-season variety here, and it ripens consistently every year uh, with no problems, no head start necessary. Uh, it also tastes quite good. Let's, let's open this fig up for you guys, because overall it's a really good fig here. It's also a really good fig everywhere. Uh, it's one of your more productive varieties that you're going to have, Violette de Bordeaux. So if you have Violette de Bordeaux, there's no need to get Petit Albique. There's no need to get Petit Negri. 
you know there's no need to get a couple of them out there there's many of them and um, this is just one that I have that I've stuck with over the years so that's all there really is to it and I don't like the Sun right here so we're gonna move this over just a little bit that's better so you can see the fig here guys and uh, really just trying to focus this camera but very tight eye as you can see it doesn't split as I say it holds up to the rain pretty well and I'll put you guys down and we can talk more about the fig in just a minute uh, it's also a very pretty fig the skin's quite thin maybe medium thickness oh wow oh wow I really impressed by this fig this year this is my third or fourth year with this variety and you can see down in here it looks quite delicious the Violette de Bordeaux and, and Ron, Ron de Bordeaux uh, those varieties guys are really really tasty and they have an interesting berry flavor to them historically my Violette de Bordeaux types have had a interesting texture to them the texture has always been uh, congealed gel so this one seems a bit more jammy and we're gonna find out here in just a second I want to focus this up so it looks a bit jammy it looks like there's actually some honey in here which is really nice to see it's more of an elongated fig and let's let's try it whoa everyone so that fig was really really good um, the video cut out and I couldn't tell you everything I had said in that moment and I realized after filming it that the video had cut out and uh, I didn't get to capture my, my thoughts in that moment but I just ate another one so I just went over to the, to the tree picked the other one that was ripe because I really love them uh, that much it's definitely an 8 out of 10 and I was saying that um, it could be a 9 out of 10 but I just, I want to be careful on what I give nines because I think a nine is a really, really special fig. And the Petite Albique that I just ate, the Violette de Bordeaux type figs, guys, are kind of, uh, they're great figs, but they're not on that next level that I would put them at. And I, get, and I said in the beginning of the video, an unbelievably productive fig that's rain resistant, split resistant. It produces a really high quality Braba. It produces a lot of Braba. Uh, it always ripens here, and it does this in every single climate in the United States. I mean, it's just a, a winner of a fig. Um, and like I said, for taste, it's got a nice berry flavor to it. There is some sweetness in there with some honey. And I think what's been going on in previous years, because it had a congealed gel texture to it, this year that's, that's gone. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that the two figs I just ate were not as ripe as I normally eat Ronde uh, Violette de Bordeaux. So for me, I actually like it less ripe because the texture will become jammy and not like the congealed gel of fruit leather or um, you know a jam. Say you're making jam on the stove and it, you cook it too long, it gets sticky, it gets hard. That's what the texture of Violette de Bordeaux when I let it really ripen, that's what it reminds me of. So I'm not a huge fan of that texture. I'm more of a fan of the jammy type figs and that's exactly what that was and I really, really enjoyed it. So, you know, I can't really say much more about the fig. It's, uh, it's a berry type fig that's an interesting berry flavor to it, uh, you know, as the Bordeaux varieties have. And then you get some nice sweetness in there and that to me equals an easily an eight approaching a nine and uh, a fig that many many people should have and it's really easy to find too there's so many Violette de Bordeaux types out there Nero 600M, Valle Calda, Valle Negra uh, you know uh, what's some other ones Petit Albique, Petit Negri, Violette de Bordeaux uh, there's just Aishia Black AD there's so many of them and uh, it's really a worthwhile fig so thank you all for watching and uh, I'll talk to you all soon Anton, if you're still watching, happy birthday, buddy. Uh, wish it was a good one. So take care, man.